Hello all, this is Ruskin Bruce, a happy teacher by profession. In the following set of videos, we have planned to see about refrigeration and air conditioning. It is one of the interesting topics as we come across this in the day-to-day -day life. Let us start with refrigeration. What is refrigeration? The science of producing and maintaining the temperature of a body at a temperature lower than the surrounding temperature. That's about refrigeration. You can see it. The science of producing and maintaining the temperature of a body below than that of surrounding atmospheric temperature. For example, let us consider the atmospheric temperature be around 30 degrees centigrade. And if we want to have a space at a lower temperature, for various reasons that could be. Let us consider we want to have a temperature around 3 degree or 4 degrees centigrade. So, if we try to do this and if we want to maintain this, this process is known as refrigeration. And why do we need to do this? For various reasons. Some of the popular thing that we use on day-to-day -day life is food processing. Food processing can be done directly um, by using an equipment or even by producing ice. And then we can use that ice for preserving food. Or else, even for various other reasons like... Uh, for cooling water or even for storing medicines and there are plenty and we have to understand how come this temperature alone uh, preserve the food without any preservative there is again another interesting thing how come this temperature preserve the food if you look at the day to day life what we use there are perishables perishables are likely to decay in one or two days. For example, meat, fish, dairy and some vegetables what we use. These vegetables and dairy products could get deteriorate soon in one or two days or even within some hours if we don't refrigerate. So, we plan to have it in a refrigerator. So, thereby what are we doing? Yes, in this process we delay the duration for decaying. In general, in these things what we say, there are some bacteria, microorganisms and some uh, something like fungi, uh, molds and so on so like that. So these microorganisms and bacteria, actually they are good. They are not, uh, they are not harmful to us. They do the general process that is necessary for the earth. The cycle, it continues the cycle. Whatever the thing that comes, it decays and it decomposes and it goes on to the next process. That is the thing that happens. But for us, we need to use certain things for a longer duration. For example, we have a thing like this. Here we have a cucumber and a tomato. These things are actually refrigerated for about uh, 10 to 12 days or so. Uh, how come this is still um, good in condition to uh, edible? Because we have delayed the process of decaying. We didn't allow the microorganisms to decompose these things. Because the temperature, this temperature is not favorable for the microorganisms to decompose these things. For example, if I don't refrigerate this thing, if I keep it outside, atmospheric temperature is very much favorable for this microorganisms to decay this. Thereby, it will decompose quickly. If we have the milk outside, by standards, not more than two hours the milk should be kept outside without refrigerating because it multiplies and it decomposes the food quickly. There are certain foods which can um, last long. Definitely the nuts and other things what we use, they are dry and they don't decompose that quickly. Even the honey, in the honey, the microorganisms don't survive. That's why that has a longer uh, life, shelf life, if it is properly sealed and preserved, that can uh, preserve the sense that can be just sealed and held properly, it can even last for thousands of years. That's good. So, here we see uh, an interesting thing regarding uh, temperature for preserving food. There are various reasons for storing medicine, there are some chemical enzymes which could uh, uh, change its nature when it is kept at atmospheric temperature. That's why they ask us to. Uh, store in a uh, refrigerator or even sometimes to uh, freeze certain things. The frozen uh, 
food items are there we need to uh, keep it at uh, freezer at a much lower temperature than this so we need to create a space and we need to maintain the temperature that's another important thing and before going to this one we would like to see another important thing yes heat always passes downhill what is it in general if a body is at a high temperature it tries to move towards a body which is at a lower temperature until this uh, the temperature becomes equal that tries to uh, flow downhill yes just like water how the water flows from a higher elevation to lower elevation we don't do anything it flows that way in the same manner heat flow uh, heat passes downhill from a warm object to a cooler one for example i have a piece of ice in my hand look at this what happened here what happens here what happened here the heat from the hand passes through this ice because the ice is at much lower temperature than this hand so the body temperature is around 37 degrees centigrade here this could be in the order of around um, minus 5 degree or minus 3 degree so any anyway something less than 0 degree centigrade so this the temperature uh, the heat passes from the hand to ice thereby it melts the ice to water so this is a general thing so here always water sorry the heat passes from a hot object warm object to a cooler one so look at this one in our example we have a surrounding at temperature that's about 30 degree centigrade and here we maintain at 3 degree centigrade so what will happen from all the sides the heat will try to pass inside to make it even that's why here we study maintain producing and maintain we need to produce a temperature and we need to maintain it it's a very important thing so uh, this is a important thing every time the atmospheric temperature whenever whatever is heat um, hotter that will try to get into a cooler system okay yes the question is how can we lower the temperature than surrounding that's another interesting thing yes we have an illustration we have a hot pan it's really hot actually just now to get from a stove now i pour some water so what happened so here the pan is hot and the water what we have is at much lower temperature once when i pour the water in the pan the water takes the heat from the pan and it gets it into water vapor so here we need to understand two important things one thing is about the pan the pan was at a higher temperature and once when the water was poured in it it loses its temperature it some heat gets removed from the pan meanwhile on the water once when it gets into contact with the pan it takes the heat the heat flows from the pan to the water and it changes its state and it gets converted to water vapor this is the important thing now our system is the pan here we have reduced the temperature the heat is been given out so here this process a refrigerant the medium as like water what it does here a refrigerant can do the work for us we we'll look at these thing in a detailed way in the following video okay thank you have a good time meanwhile i would like to add something whenever we have uh, vegetables it's always good to have fresh vegetables but at times we don't get certain things that's why we refrigerate thank you see you again